Hello, welcome back to Kira was your actor. I just reacted to Dio in my last video and everyone, not everyone, but a lot of people then said, now I need to react to Rainbow. It's another band that Dio was in that apparently I might really like. I really appreciated the band Dio and the man Dio. I don't know how to differentiate the two when I talk about them, but Dio the man is also another band called Rainbow and I am very excited to listen to some songs today. So let's get into it. Let's listen to some songs. I just woke up. I I'm in the metal mood. Weirdly, I'm going to listen to Kill the King first. So let's give that one a go. Oh, drums again. Ooh, bass. Oh yeah, I can hear the Dio. Yeah, sounds familiar. Oh, harmonies. This is so fast. The bass is on. Oh, oh my god, it's orgasmic, man. Oh, that's good. Wow. This key change is so cool. That was the best guitar solo ever. That like had so many arpeggios. It was insane. I am a huge arpeggio fan. That was like the guitar solo of arpeggios. Like that was it. That was, oh my God. I'm just reading about it. And it says inspired by Bach. That's so cool, man. I wouldn't expect like metal guitar solos to be inspired by Bach. Like what is going on? And it literally was so good. It just did so many different things. There were like 20 different things that were happening across that guitar solo. And it lasted for like two minutes. I was just like shocked the whole entire time. I really liked the bass again. And I liked the key change at the end. And I liked Dio's voice. Just the whole thing's really good. Oh God, what are we listening to next, man? Oh my God. All right, this person says I should listen to Man on a Silver Mountain. This sounds older. This came out in 1975. Okay, that's fine. Wow, funky! This is funky! Like the guitar in the background, it's nice. The bass again. Who's the bassist, man? Who are they? I like the guitar a lot. Oh, that's that's my favorite. I did not expect. So much slow and relaxed in the last song, isn't it? But still love it, like in a different type of way. Oh, very versatile band, man. Oh, the guitar slow. <laughs> this doesn't seem like really metal though. 
But I really like it's not that I don't like it. I love it. I think the reason I like it is it reminds me a bit more of some other non-metal bands that I do like. Ooh! What do you do? Man, so mountain man. Let's do it. This really suits his voice. There's so much fade in metal. Wow! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, sometimes, okay, here's the thing. I'm always like, here's the thing. But really, here is the thing with metal, is I really like it. I am authentic with my videos when I react to it. A lot of the time, like, it suits only a certain mood that I have. Like, I need to be in a very certain mood for a lot of metal. That song, though, I could listen to that in, like, any mood. Because I don't, I don't know, maybe that's not as metal as other metal. I think for sure it's not, but that's just, like, a good, like a song that I really vibe with and like, which I didn't expect. Like just a song I could just throw on whenever, wherever, which is great. I'm so happy once again, I'm listening to some metal that <laughs> is easily digestible <laughs> and stuff that I like. Wow, people are really good at recommending stuff. People really know like what metal to, for me to check out. Like it's very obvious that people really understand the genre and they really understand what should be next by watching like how I respond to certain songs and bands. This is some really good recommendations, man. Wow, I really like that song. The reason I really liked that song was it was super like groovy and funky in a weird way. The other reason I really liked it is Dio's voice really suited that in my opinion. I think the slowed down, stripped back sort of sound in that song really let Dio's voice shine and oh my god, people are right. His voice is really good. I just need to hear some more songs from him. Okay, I'm googling this band, man, because I'm confused if this is actual like, is this a metal metal band or like what? is genre hard rock heavy metal okay okay do people recommend this to me because i like sabbath and sabbath also has like a lot of hard rock roots and sort of sounds a lot like hard rock it makes sense though a lot of earlier metal is going to sound like hard rock because it was emerging out of hard rock all right okay let's listen to catch the rainbow because a couple people recommended this slow again pink floyd Pink Floyd? Wow! Reminds me of Pillow of Winds by Pink Floyd as well. Similar vibes, similar um, lyrics. Wow! If I knew metal was like this, I would have ignored it for so long. Oh. Oh. This gets me emotional. It's so beautiful. Good drums. That drums. It pulls at the heartstrings, man! Oh, what's happening? Okay. What a beautiful love song. It's a song about heartbreak. Oh, not every dream can come true, hey? Oh, I love some choir. I thought Mad on the Silver Mountain was my favorite, but Catch the Rainbow is now my favorite. The face again. It's just the little things, the little touches. I hate it when songs are just like the one bass note, just like ba 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 ba. Huge fade, man. Oh, the bass! I'm very sorry. Bass is my favorite instrument. So wow, that was really interesting. That end with the the choir. I did not expect that. I can still hear the bass. <laughs> That's all you could really hear now as it fades out. That was a beautiful love song. Or 
heartbreak song, I guess. God. Do more metal bands do songs about heartbreak? Because I'll listen to them every day and cry. Like, I'm here for this. I want all the love songs. That's like my favorite type of music is music about love. So, and sad songs about love especially. So that song's right up my alley. The psychedelic rock and hard rock elements are there. It's not even really that metal. I don't know. I don't know if I even understand what metal is yet, but what you'd think metal is, it's not really that. Like you expect metal to be like what Metallica is essentially. So that's very different from Metallica. Metal is a very, very, very genre. I am slowly realizing. Once again, his voice shines on the track because it's slow and the lyrics and the song composition bang on like exactly what I need. Like I love a really strong outro and this had that. I hate it when songs like they have this huge moment at the end with the vocals and the song just ends. That annoys me because I feel like the end is like the big moment and you need something to just like relax afterwards and this song perfectly does that. What a well put together song than the bass. <laughs> The B-A-S-S -S, man. Every single time there's good bass, I will point it out. All right, I know what everybody's been waiting for. Everyone has been waiting for me to listen to Stargazer. I've gotten so many recommendations, so many comments about listening to Stargazer. Let's just do it. Let's just get it over and done with. Eight minutes, okay. Riff. This is more back to the original type of metal sort of sound. Key change. Oh. Why do I like this so much? Give me a moment. Uh, if you couldn't tell those riffs that it went to just then, I was obsessed with. This song is all about the guitar. What is happening? Go off right now, bro. Wow, the drums! His voice is so good. It suits everything. Oh my god. The, the drummer is just going off on this. And the guitar. Like, they are just, they are in a symbiotic, beautiful relationship right now in this song. the 
best songs I've ever heard. There's a little bit of um, there's a little bit of Simpson choir up in the top, and the, the violins. It's all oh, so much. It's so good. So much happening. to it already that's what a freaking good song is dude when i listen to it and it finishes and all i want to do is just go replay it like right now in this instance i want to go listen to that song 10 times over so much happened it's really hard to fully comprehend everything right now but i can tell you that was one of the best songs i've ever heard and i get why like 30 million people recommended it to me i think the main thing i took out of that song was they're literally a genius this whole band is a genius like i need to go look up who the guitarist is who the drummer is the bass every single single freaking thing and this there's like not one thing that is lacking with these songs especially stargazer man oh my god i mean i couldn't hear the bass as much on that last track because there was so much happening like violins were kicking in at the end it was crazy but and it was a lot to also take in the lyrics i might have to do a re-listen to that song honestly a future video or something on it but i can tell you that was one of the best songs i've ever heard and a hundred percent Rainbow will become one of my favorite metal bands, most likely. As long as the rest of their albums and songs are similar to those ones that I just listened to, I am pretty sure they'll become one of my favorites. Like, I got the same feeling then as I got when I listened to Black Sabbath, and we all know how I feel about Black Sabbath. Rainbow and Black Sabbath, man. I need a rainbow record. That's what I am. That's the next thing I'm getting. I'm getting a rainbow record. I might have to do a video just re reacting to a whole rainbow album in general, because what just happened? What did I just listen to? Who? That was amazing. I know some people recommended. I think they um they recommended Rising. I think it was. Oh, that's where Star. Okay, Stargazer is off Rising. Okay, that's 1976. Yeah, I need to do a video where I just react to Rising by Rainbow. The time will come quickly. I'm pretty sure where I'll want to listen to the rest of this album. Wow. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody, for recommending Rainbow to me after listening to Dio last video because it's what I desperately needed and I had no clue. Oh, <laughs> just give me a second, guys. I mean, I'm sure you all understand. And when you're like 13 or 14, whenever you discover metal and you listen to these songs for the first time, you would have had the same experience of just needing a second. <laughs> I imagined or you just wanted to go listen to it again. Ooh, so let me go do that and I'll be back soon with another video. Let me know what I should react to next. I have Rising by Rainbow on my radar. So let me know if that is a video you'd want to see or if you want to see me react to something else. Just let me know what you want to see and I'll get to it eventually. And thank you for recommending me such great music. I wouldn't be able to, I mean, I would have eventually found this if I just like looked up a metal list and like went through it like one by one from Google, but it's different when like people actually watch me react to music and then they recommend something based upon that because I feel like I'm going on this journey of starting with this and going to this going to this and it's all connecting and making sense in a thought out journey that's been calibrated by people that are watching my videos so it's something I appreciate a lot this experience I'm going on is very near and dear to my heart for real like I really love metal music right now like everything I'm listening to so thank you all for watching remember to like comment and subscribe and support the channel so I can post more videos and and I'll see you next time. Bye.